Now this week has seen the replacement of the Vice President and Prime Minister as the government inaugurates work, uh, or welcomes a new cabinet. The government is mandated to look after these personalities for the rest of their lives. But how much will the retirement of uh, these uh, VIPs cost you, the taxpayer? And uh, so a monthly uh, pension equivalent to 60% of the gross salary of the serving vice president uh, is uh, offered. A house purchase fund equivalent to 15,000 currency points or 300 million shillings. A chauffeur driven car for town running with uh, one county home trip once a month. Medical care for the retired vice president and his or her immediate family. Two government paid security guards. Secretary, senior personal secretary. And an allowance equivalent to 35 currency points or 700,000 shillings for their utilities such as electricity, telephone and water. He also received two domestic staff an allowance of 500 currency points, so 10 million uh, Uganda shillings for furniture, a further allowance of 250 currency points or 5 million shillings to replace old furniture every five years. Now, retirement uh, benefits uh, for Prime Minister, uh, other retirement benefits, a monthly pension equivalent to 60% of the gross salary of a serving Prime Minister, a house purchase uh, fund worth 12,000 currency points or 240 million shillings. That's what the Prime Minister retired takes. And uh, of course, a driver and uh, a car. Medical care for the Prime Minister and his or her spouses. Two government paid security guards. The Prime Minister also takes home an allowance equivalent to 30 currency points or 600 thousand shillings for their utilities as electricity, water and telephone. Retired Prime Minister also takes home two domestic staff, 350 currency points or 7 million Uganda shillings in allowances for furniture uh, and furniture. Any further allowance of 175 currency points, uh, that's about 3.5 million uh, Uganda shillings to replace old furniture every five years. And then not before a currency point under the law is 20,000 Uganda shillings. So that is multiplied by the allocation, uh, a specific allocation, and then you come up with the total. That's how we came up with that. Listen TV tonight, and we'll be back with more stories after.